principle that makes for excelling life, part two. So, the first one, lean not on your own wisdom. What did I call it? You see, because I've been talking professionally, me push this on the prophetic. You see, some of you, are you with me? If you are with me, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You see, some of us, we need to get uncomfortable with our current position, with where we are now. And the reason why I'm saying this is this. Until you sincerely desire to know the next level or the next step to take, you might not see the reason why you need to fast. I was with a sister last weekend and she was saying, God has not spoken to me. How do I hear God? I asked her, if I put you on three days fasting, would you? They say, God, for me. I said, you are not desperate yet. Desperation will make you forfeit certain things. I don't know who I'm talking to, but for a while you have been confused. There are things you don't get on the surface. You don't get gold on the surface, you dig. When will you? You see the way I was sharing the vision I had? Does it not look pure? It doesn't look ambiguous. It look direct, Abby. This is not, are you sure? This is, we are sure. There is proof. As I'm saying, in some of you are receiving the witness in your spirit, what this man is saying. In matters of destiny, it's not guesswork. It's not shadow boxing. It's not by human wisdom. You must arrive to that place where you are working with the, the manual of God for your life. And what will trigger it is that you must be hungry to receive instruction. Are you with me? Proverbs 18 verse 1. Let's, let me just drop that. Proverbs 18 verse 1. I want to hear you want to go. It says, true desire. A man having separated himself, seeketh and intermediately with all wisdom. The key word is that it starts with desire. Once you don't have the desire, you cannot separate yourself. Lord, I need to get clear direction. Where I am now, I'm not sure what to do next. See, breakthrough doesn't mean that God is leading you. There can be breakthrough and God will say, stay. If breakthrough is your own ladder that is leading you, Satan will give you breakthrough. That there is open door doesn't mean God is on it. Too. You must come to a point in your life where you must shut everything down, take up personal retreat. Lord, I want to hear you. This hearing, I'm hearing. People say, and I'm not saying hear you. I want to hear, I want to be sure of what, what I'm doing with my life. If you go for that retreat and come back, you will be as bold as a lion. You know why? You are not confused. That's when you, you should know when you are getting married, you should know what to do with your life. I heard a man of God that said, after his NYS, he took up a very long fasting. God, what next? He said, you, you're going to ministry. But before ministry, you were going to work in the oil company. This is not guesswork. He said he got a work in an oil company he did not apply for. When you are now in life, are you sure? How sure are you? Oh, we told you with, with humility, I'm not trying to boast. Where I am currently, I am so sure. Oh, I am sure. The reason why you've not paid certain prices is you are still leaning on your wisdom. You finish school. You are hoping you might get a job. You are hoping this business might work. You are hoping, you are hoping, you are hoping in an evil world, ruled by kingdom of darkness. You need a superior wisdom that Satan cannot understand. Light shines in darkness. Darkness cannot comprehend it. That light comes from heaven. When it comes in the midst of darkness, you are shining. Satan cannot predict the next step. You can't, you can't get that wisdom being busy. He said you must separate. You must lock yourself up. Lord, it's me and you and destiny. See, I'm not teaching you what I read from book. I have this. I'm, I'm on it all. You know what it cost me every month to lock myself in? Lock my phone. Off my phone for four days. It cost me something. But anytime I go there and come out, I know how oh, I know, I know. Oh, I know. Please, I don't know why I had to just, even if it's this one, I push and then push one, we go. You must come to a point where you are tired of doing try and lock, hoping that the business will work, hoping that the door will open, hoping that somebody will just, how long will you hope? No. Lock your door. True desire. A man having... That was what Jacob did. When Jacob was scared of meeting Esau, he knows I need an encounter. 
The Bible says he separated his family and he, he was alone and a man came. It was where he got the identity, Israel. How long? How long will you have a, a clear direction from heaven? It's not the plan your mother or father or family is making for you. It's not because maybe there is money to sponsor a business or something. It's something, this is from God. I know, I know. You don't get it being casual. It calls for personal retreat. And the reason why we add fasting, so that we suppress the voice of the flesh. Even if he whispers, we will hear. It doesn't mean that the, the standard is fasting. But we act fasting because the flesh is noisy. You can even be sleeping. You are not sleeping. You will still hear. A Bible verse you don't understand will suddenly begin to make sense. God wants to speak, but how desperate are you? True wisdom. He says in Jeremiah, put it up. Jeremiah 29 verse 13. He says you will find me if you seek me with all of your heart. Not all these things we are doing microwave prayer, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 40 minutes. Charlie, goodness and mercy, you lost out every year. You need to come to a. Can I say this? Um, I, we are online. I don't want to be saying a lot of things about my life. My brother, I can tell you every point where I received an encounter, I received a clear word from God. I, we are online. He, he came one night and said, I will sponsor the wedding. You've always heard me share it. Clear, it's not guesswork. I'm bold on that. How long? What, what is that in your life that you can say, this one, I got this? You need to have the desire before you can go on that journey. You, have, you need the superior wisdom. There must be a light that will come in the midst of the darkness. Satan cannot calculate the next move. <laughs> it's not human wisdom. That wisdom is not made from high institution. True, true desire. There's something you are looking for. That wisdom there, if you click on Resicon, it's talking about creative wisdom. Is that same wisdom that God used to create the world? It's a true wisdom. It's a heart built. That's, a, that's, that's, that's like the, the, the stuff that God put in place to create. You need it. If you click on it, says it's a skillful. It, it's creative in nature. Are you with me? Proverbs chapter 3, let's do 5 and 7. See, do not be creative in this matter of destiny. Why you just predict everything? I will do this, I will do that, I will do this. I have admitted my limitation before God. This ministry, God, this is your work. I will not, I don't want to be creative. Yes, there are, so there, there are things you can learn online from senior men of God, people that have gone ahead of us. But it's obvious that we are all we, we all are not the same. All ministries are not the same. Every man had their separate mandate. So I can't keep shadow boxing and copying what they do. There must be a time. I read the books of God's general. You see stories like some of them locked themselves and told their wife, honey, don't open this door until I receive something from God. I can't, I can't I've forgotten the man. The wife, after some day, the man said, Give me food, hunger. He came to a day. He told the wife, this time around. Don't open. Even if I'm knocking, don't open. One week, nothing. The wife now knew that this one meant business. Think after some days, the man banged on the open. That was how he started the ministry. That became a global. What of a more buyer? This have raised, I've heard that man. He said the, the wife was almost crying. Do you want to make me a widow? He said, Tell God to anoint me. Woman. You know, have you listened to a more before? That's how I used to talk. Woman. Tell God to anoint me. He said he stayed on fasting. Stayed on fasting. Stayed on. The wife said, what? He said, just tell God to anoint me. I'm not saying you should go and kill yourself. But I'm saying that you, there's a desire you need to do business with God on deep waters. It's not this childhood thing we are doing. No? There's something you must know about your life by now. About your destiny. About your business. About whatever it is. Oh, it doesn't come easily. God, 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 honor not sacrifice. So sometimes add something on it. Eh? Some of us have never fast or exceeded six to six. No, nah. Wake up at, by midnight. Kingdom of darkness, they understand all these things. But believers are always weak. We are hiding under the canopy of grace. Look at this. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not 
unto thy own understanding. Next verse. Next verse. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. In all thy ways. Not some of the things. Everything. Lord, if you are not leading me, I won't go. Acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. Do you know man is a free moral agent? God cannot say, I said before you life and death. I can't choose for you. Until you see God to say, help me, he will not come. He will, he will believe that you know what to do. Until you say, Lord, I don't know. You need to. You need to. It's when you are acknowledging. That acknowledging means putting him before everything. Lord, if it's not you, I'm not taking this journey. So one of the reasons why I'm not scared of what we do is there is nothing. I'm not creative in this thing. Believe me. If you see me talk with boldness, I can tell you days and times I had those encounters where he gave me a word. I am with you. Backed up with scriptures, I know where I, I and how. Just from late last I told you, no matter what you give, you don't give. Upside, the upside, you'll be sponsored. I have seen it. It's even getting better daily. It's an encounter. What I'm sharing with you that is taking place this season. I've told you how you came by. You must get tired of the norms this, and say, God, I need something fresh. Yes. I've been hearing other people share their encounter. It's the, the same God is rich unto all. God does not have favorite. Don't think because they are apostles, they are prophets. No. We are all children of God. God does not have grandchildren. He has children. No grandchildren. So we all have access to the throne room. But have you gone there? Have you banged to heaven? I said, you need to open up. Next verse. Verse, verse 7. Verse 7. Now, be, is that 7? Be not wise in thy own eyes. Don't assume. Don't guess. Admit, Lord. I know what. To, do you know? God doesn't really need to choose right for you. Are there not women are everywhere now? You can pick any abi. It's when you now pick one, and after one year she dies, you know what to pick. Or pick the one that will kill you before the one year. So Lord, there are women everywhere. But I, 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 hey, hey. Help me. You, you made me, you know my frame. You know what will fit me. You know what it you know how selfish I am. So you know what we align with your calling for my life. Anything you show me, I will go. You can enter that relationship without God, though. He will not force you. You can do that business without God, though. He will not force you. But you will bear the consequences of what will come out of it. Oh, yes. So lean on, on your own wisdom. I'm, I'm admitting. Lord, maybe I like fat women or I like busting. All those things. He said, but God, you know what? I understand this thing. There is something for me. Men and women, male and female, you met them. There must be someone for me. No one will lack his mate. Is that not what the word says? I have a mate there. Show me. Show me. Show me. And you stay long enough. Same thing with business. Same thing in choosing career. I told you when he was talking about the tent. I said, yes, Lagos, Lagos is too big. Which side? After I'm done with which side, once the morning now is ready, we will start looking for which place. We will do what we call spiritual. We will go and pray, move around. As we are looking, we are praying in our minds. While we are checking around the facilities. When we enter the place, we need to have a confirmation. I don't want to enter a place that will end me even before I start. Lean not on your own understanding. Is God talking to us? Oh, get uncomfortable with this level. Come up here, come up here, come up here. There is a new level He's calling you. you are, he say you have tallied in this mountain enough. It's time to take the journey. See, growth is not changing date in your calendar. Every year you are... Are you truly growing? Ask yourself that question. From last year to this year, I, I'm not talking about your account balance. Just do a general shake-up with around you and within you. Are you truly growing? Are you the man we met last year? Oh, if you are not growing, you are passing time. Oh. You are celebrating birthdays. <laughs> and you call it growth. It may be when we are 60, you know that people have been doing business with God. I just came to challenge you this evening. Get uncomfortable. Get uncomfortable. Keep, keep away. Sometimes, eh, close food, though. See, in, a, in the positive way, our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. In the negative way, our body is our servant. I tell my body, Paul said, I beat my body to submission. I said, oh God, 
You are not eating for the next three days. Oh, oh yes. But if you allow that servant to control you, at the end of the day, he will go back to six feet. Time might will feast on it. The real you will go to answer what you did with your flesh. Paul was telling us in 1 Corinthians 9 from 20, he said, I beat, I beat my body to submission. I, I, I hit it. So in the positive, I know your body is temp, but in the, the other is your servant. Your body is given to serve you. Not to be your master. So see, you might want to sleep now. Say, no, I need to pray. You might be feeling weak now. No, no, no. I'm too young to be comfortable now. I need to pay some price. There is a crown that we need to wear. And I don't have much time. You need to separate yourself. It says, true desire. Remember Proverbs 18 verse 1. The Bible says, he that lost pressure will be poor. Yes, sir. You won't strike any chord in destiny if you are casual with your life. Are you with me? Let me do one more, then I will leave this. Proverbs 2, we read 3 to 5. Because as you begin to separate yourself, he will come. Let's read. Yeah. Hey. Okay, let's read. Want to go? Yeah. If thou criest after knowledge and lifted up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver, the way you are hustling for money, have you seen God like that? Sometimes you come back home, there is no money in your pocket. Do you notice that kind of less stressness you have? Sometimes be less stressed like that. Lord, I have not heard your voice for a while. What is going on? I have not received instruction for a while. What is going on? Yes, sir. If you seek him or seek her as silver and search it for her as for hid treasures. Next verse. Then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. That knowledge there is revelation. Wisdom will now come. If only you can seek me like good. People are hustling for money, but they lack wisdom. They lack understanding. They lack direction. He says that the labor of the fool will yet all of them. They are working hard, but to always end in show for them. Why? They do not know the way to the city. In other words, the way to the city is not something you try. It's not shadow boxing. It's not by shadow boxing. There's a way to the city, but you cannot get it until you go for this. Then you will know. So even if you are about to enter school, your parent might be saying you need lag, but you know it's Yabatek. And it's not just because of the certificate. It's because there is an encounter you're supposed to have there. Why is everybody going to university? You are going for polytechnic. They don't understand. Oh, yes. Some of us will not practice what we study. So if you go by the general status quo, get admission, go to school, come back and look for work, is that in life? You've not even waited on God to know what is written concerning you. Your family are making plans for you. And you look good. Just like people that are doing Japa now. Some people will do Japa back. As, that's the honest thing. God, should I go? But is it not David that was asking God question? First Samuel chapter 3. Should I pursue? Should I overtake? He had the warriors. He could have take, took off. But no. If I don't hear God, I won't go. And God said pursue. And God said over the first time chapter 30 verse 8. Should I pursue? He inquired. You see, one of the things that we've lost in the modern church now is the prayer of inquiry. Where you are not asking, you are, you are seeking for direction. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt. This kind of man, he's, he knows I'm coming back with results. Before you do that next business, are you sure that something will come out of it? Oh, what we are planning to set up, I am so sure, because I know. The world has come. Tested and tried like in fire. I know it. So, my feelings can be talking another to you on your own. The great one has spoken. We are talking about excelling life. These are the things that make for a life of excellence. You see, the difference, and the say, between you and the person sitting next to you is what you know. Oh, yes. The confidence that guides your life. 
Everybody is in church saying, we know, we know, we know God, we know God, we know God, I belong, I belong. It's when the sky is about to have accident, we know who know. They said even native doctor began to call Jesus. <coughs> On a plane crash, plane is about to crash. Native doctor, Jesus. Ah. Even unbelievers are calling what? Jesus. Oh, you, you know the name before. Oh, that's an emergency code for you. And the men that know their God, they were sleeping. They said, okay, you, don't you care that we're about to clash? He said, no. My God is able. The hairs in my head has been numbered, none shall miss. Allow me to rest. The king is at work. Yes, sir. They know something. Get uncomfortable. That's the wake-up call. Make up your mind this week, next week, days to come. The days you should really separate you off that phone. Leave that social media. It has not helped you. You've done it for years. Leave it first. Go on a tour with God. Do you know this was what the fathers of faith used to do before? They would take gallons of water and they would go and spend one week in the mountain. They are not coming back until they hear something. You will hear our father in the Lord, Bishop Oedipo. He said, I will not be poor in my life. He's not boasting. There is something he found in God. I cannot be poor. I cannot be poor. I know it. That's an encounter. Follow him and say, I cannot be poor. <laughs> what do you know? This man, the, he said, remember we talked about the ancient part here. We need to call back those things that the fathers did that made them who they are. If you are with me, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Maybe I'll, you can push one more, Abby. <laughs> Allah, Allah is enjoying it today. Can you mess up for theater? Okay, let me do just two. Tomorrow we can continue. Have one more section tomorrow. Second thing, patience. What did I call it? So let's be singing this song. He insists on me. So you can be praying it. I miss this guy. This one I would have loved that. Holy Ghost, he insists on me. He insists on me. Holy Ghost, insist on me. He insists on me. Holy Ghost, so insist on me. You will never know what God is doing through you until you begin to see the result. Some of the things that look like tears, pain, the day you begin to see the result. Have you seen where they are pounding pancanel? People begin to smile once the oil is coming out. Once they are pounding the palm nut or pancanel, it looks as if they hate it, but they are trying to get something coming out. Some of us, that's what God has been doing. But will you be patient enough? Holy Ghost, so insist on me. <laughs> ah, thank God you are not a man. You would have given up on me, sis. People like us are stubborn. But thank God he will not give up. He's been calling us for fasting. He's been calling us for prayer. But insist on me. Holy Ghost, so insist on me. Ah. Please insist on me. Holy Ghost, insist on me. Insist on me. Oh. Holy Ghost, so oh, please insist on me. Just insist on me. Holy Ghost, so oh, insist on me. You might not understand. But some of us, sometimes when we, are, when we remember the journey, eh? Ah! Insist on me. Let's teach. James chapter 1. I will, what I want to teach is the whole book of James chapter 1. I will summarize it by God's grace. James chapter 1, we do from verse 1 to 4. Just open. This is actually the message I came with for this evening section. Just open your ears. I want, Manakosi, Feli, Bren, Let's start from 2 because of time. I want to hear you want to go. My brethren, count it all joy when you fell into diverse temptations. The word for temptations there is trials. It's not like temptation like we know in English. It's not like testing with evil. No, this is like trials, challenges. So it says, count it all joy 
when you are passing through those trials. Why? Next verse. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire and wanting nothing. I was talking to my cousin some days ago. I said, you don't know why God is here to make you a millionaire. Because he's building capacity. You cannot carry the weight of what is coming. Oh. If you have not been trained by patient, as a millionaire, there are many serpents that will come around to, 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 to mess you up. But if you've built discernment, they can come with stories. And as they are talking, you are just speaking in tongues. What, do you go, what is this one saying? And it will, it will, because you have been trained. But if you are money misload, you will waste the resources God brought for the advancement of his kingdom. It, it, it will not cause God anything to make all of us wish today. But that will to kill all of us. So it says that let patient. Patient is a teacher. But patience only work with trials. So when you are going through trial. Ha, I'm on air. Some of you know how long I've been in my cave. The other day my siblings were discussing. He said you have tried though, four years with this person. With the insult. You don't have a life of your own. I said look at what happened. The outcome now look at the outcome i came in there with bitterness sometimes god will put you in the midst of the most stubborn irritating wicked whatever you want to call them just to clutch the impurities in you just to work on your weaknesses they will put you in the midst can i say something 90 percent of the people with what you are looking for they have issues they have terrible character and god will permit it they will bring you into their space. They will offend you, offend you. You will complain, you will murmur. No. It's about you, not them. God is using them to build patience. God is using them to build perseverance. God is using them. They are just a teacher, but you don't know. And the more you murmur, the more you stay in that wilderness. Let patience have its work. He's a teacher. He came to work on you. So count it joy. There is something that will come out that is glorious that you've not imagined in your life. But the thing is, the more you complain, the more you stay there. When I came into this cave, sometimes we'll finish miracle service, I will go home. I don't even know how you normally, hey, she will turn the whole, she jokingly told Daniel the other day, you need to come for, to stay with me. So Daniel said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, he said, you too, you need training. Come, let me train you. But now I say, Lord, thank you for that house. I entered into a prepared blessing. I read books I did not buy. God that place you are now is where God wants you to be. You know, we are um, um, Pentecostal people. God told me, God told me, I know what God told me. I've seen my future, I'm the rich billionaire. My friend, where you are now is where God wants you to be. God knew they were in the wilderness, he left them there. God knew Joseph is going to the tomb, but he kept him in Potiphar's house. God told me, no, there is something is working. Let patience finish, it's a teacher that God released. Can you have patience? Can you stop moment? I'm even running ahead of myself. Now, somebody will be asking, so what is my offense? Why was I brought into this, this thing that is not present? Verse 14. I just summarizing the whole book of James chapter. Pay attention because after I'm done teaching, go and read it again. You'll get the full message in James chapter 1. Verse 14. Go back to 13. Let's start from there. Verse 13. Verse 13. Quick. Let no man say when he's tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt he any man. In other words, the reason why you are even going through these things that look like trials is not because of God. It's because there is something wrong in you. I don't know that you get it. I don't know how many people got what I said now. Don't say it's God. You know God is just trying to humble us. It's, the thing is, even it's not even about God. God knows you have issue with women. You are a human. You are a suit. You look humble. And you want to be a global apostle. But the lust is in you. It's not God. Is it God that put that in? God knows you can lie. God knows you are, 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 you are lazy. So those trials we are released to crush those things. Verse 14. To show you that it's not God, though. He said, but every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust and enticed. 
today my cave is so sweet now because to some extent he has done the job so the person that i used to see like wicked person i'm enjoying her now so it was never her all this way it was always about me all those scolding all those shouting i used to say she's too harsh she's too hard i never knew i have issues but as i stayed in the wilderness these days oh we are, we are this one i'm not at home she's missing me already you know why patience has work as a nature I, I bear now that i don't even know how I, but it was true hardship pressure she was hard on me she was coding me all those things god allowed it god you told me i'm a global apostle god said i know stay there this is where you build capacity for nations it's because there is something in you that is not aligned to the desire god wants for you that all of this came how many of you understand what i'm saying someone say, say hallelujah So guess what? Go through it with patience. Now, the only way for you to be patient while God is doing what he's doing is you need to understand that there is a reward. I've shared with us the little vision God gave us. Last year, this one, Kanima Naena Asafiata, Kombine Esete. Last year, see, Pastor, come and be praying keyboard for me. The man is another, he has gone. Last year, Come, come and help me. Last year, eh? How many of you knew that such thing will happen this year? How many of you know? Last up such, this thing I shared, how many of you know about it? Okay. Yesterday, how many of you know, apart from when I told you guys? There is something, there is a glory. There is an inheritance. There is something mighty God has prepared for you, even you don't know. Guess what? Satan will make you continue to look at the lying vanity so that you despise that glory. You will quit. You resign from the work. Who told you to resign? Because my boss is always wicked. They are hard on me. They are this, they are that. You don't know that resigning from that work, that God allowed you into that space to bring out the best in you, is you actually resigning from the blessing. Verse 17. If, are you getting what I'm teaching you? Verse 17. Every this is what God has for you. Every good gift and every perfect gift, the word gift there, I think I wrote it down. The, the word gift there talked about an endowment. This is an endowment that will come like a reward as a result of a man that passed a test. It's like a badge you put on a general that has been trained. This is the one God brings. Every good and every perfect gift is from above. And he cometh down from the Father of lies, with whom is no valuableness, neither shadow of turning. In other words, what God has prepared for you, even if like us are in ministry, even if 50 ministers go global today, it does not affect my own inheritance. My own is still reserved. Even if everybody become international today, whether my voice is heard or not, what has been reserved for me has been reserved for me. Times and seasons cannot change it. The God who kept it cannot turn his back. So it doesn't matter who is manifesting before you. Stay in the wilderness. Stay through the training. Let him finish the work. This is what you are supposed to possess. So guess what happened to many of us? Because of that pleasure that came, we use our mouth to reject it. Psalm 106. Meanwhile, before then, take me to James 19, verse 20. Go back to James 19, verse 20. Verse 19, verse 19. 19, 19. You are not helping me. Now, Apostle James is advising us that because of that good and perfect gift, this is like a warning. He said, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear. Swift to me, me, hear wisdom. What are you hearing? Lord, you, you told me this, that, that, but nothing is happening yet. You, you, what you are supposed to do is to pay attention. There is something heaven wants to tell you. He's saying, Stay, stay, be quick to hear. But he says, What? Be slow to speak. You know why? Out of anger, you can reject your blessing. You can say, You know what? I'm leaving this complaint. You are. You don't know that it is actually a strategy. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are leaving the perfect gift. 
And the only way you can lose your blessing is what you say. Do you remember Israel? Israel, God has promised them a land filled with milk and honey. Are you with me? But then I think it's in Numbers 18. When the spies were sent to go spy out the land, when they came, they said, the land is filled with milk and honey. He said, but there were giants there. The next thing they said, they, they said, we are not going again. Let's go back to Egypt. In other words, because of what is happening in the wilderness, they by themselves rejected the promised land. Did you see why all of them died in the wilderness? They showed their faith, not God. Some of you, what is happening in your life? Satan is just showing you lying vanity. Have you forgotten the book of Jonah chapter 2 verse 8? They that, for, for, they that observe lying vanity forsake their mercy. What is lying vanity? Lying vanity are things that look real but they are not real. So because nobody is here the way you anticipated, you say this also you don't have a future. You leave. This is a lying vanity. You forsake mercy. There is mercy available. But the only thing you are seeing is negative, negative, negative. You did not hear. You should be swift in hearing. When you hear, you have a wisdom that there is something God is doing you don't understand. But you stay. But because you are quick to talk, you should be quicker in hearing than speaking. So it is what you hear than what all this lying vanity. You stay. So Israel, that's Psalm 106. Put it up now. Psalm 106, 24. It's 24, 24. Let me show you what I'm saying. Yea, they despise the present land. They believe not his word. He told you what he's going to do. He says, I will make you global minister. I will make your business global. But because of those trials, you despise it. You say, you know what? I'm tired. This upsurge is not working. Uh, for five years now, we have not grown in number. You, you, talk, you never knew that people are not coming because God is building patience so that you will value every soul that walk in. Because if you don't know the value of one soul, you cannot, host, you cannot um, appreciate 1,000 people. So you don't know that for five years, the reason why the church is not growing is that those trials are supposed to produce patience so that you can receive every good and perfect gift. But if you are impatient, you will speak. He said, be slow to speak. Don't speak, but you will speak out of pleasure. You say, you know what? This option is not working. Let me go and find something else and do. So like Israel, you will use your own hand and say, God, I don't need your blessing again. That's what he's saying. Patience. Stay. Let patience have its full work. He's a teacher. You will reject it. You can look at this now and say, no, 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 no. You're, you're, it's not God, it's not Satan, you. Be quick to hear, God, what are you? That's why it's more important to stay and hear. There is something you will hear that you overlook this thing. Then you'll be slow to speak. The next thing is what? Go back to James 1, verse 19 and 20. This is just a, a passage by. James 1, 19. Get me my water. James 1, 19. So, we are what here, and let's go back to 19. It says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak. In the midst of that trial, be slow to speak. And what? Slow to love. What is what? Anger. You just get upset and not do it again. Why? Because the lot of a man walketh not the righteousness of God. That your, open it and keep, that your anger, that offense you are taking, cannot match with the blessing coming. So you just get upset. I'm not doing it again. I'm not. Leave me. Leave me, Joe. He said, "No, don't be upset. He cannot work out what God has prepared. There's something He has prepared. Eyes have not seen. It's a perfect gift. It's a wonderful gift. So He's warning you. When you are passing through all these trials, like verse two told us, be slow to speak. Be slow to anger. Quick to hear. You should be." Dream of hearing. The hearing is not what men are saying. It's connected to God. There is something God will tell you. There's a wisdom coming. That's what you are concerned. God, what is happening in my life this season? Why is custom has not coming again? Be quick to hear it, but be slow to speak. Because if you go by what the eyes can see, like Jonah, you will despise your glory. Try with me. Say hallelujah. The righteousness, the lot of man. Those offenses cannot receive what God have. And like I told you, the truth of the matter, what God has prepared, as big as you can dream, you have not seen it. And like I said earlier, I don't care who is manifesting. I don't care who has received his. Your own is nothing has tampered. You are the one that will reject it. 
even if 50 people become global today, it doesn't, don't, don't say, hey, hey, let's say myself now, you say, hey, apostles, stay. Yours is reserved. It's not tampered. Yours is unique. It's peculiar. But can you stay? But if you are not discerning, you might start talking. And that's what said I want. Like Israel, you will use your mouth and say, we don't need the promised land again. A man that passed this test well in the Bible is Joseph. Do you remember Joseph? When Joseph discovered that Mary was pregnant, in the law of the Jews, when you find out that your wife to be is pregnant, the, the consequence is that she should be stoned to death. If Joseph has not allowed patient to work on him, he will have stoned Mary with Jesus, not knowing he's putting away the blessing. Some of us, what we left was the blessing because we are quick to lot. The Bible says he, he, he contemplated it in his heart that he would take her away gently and then the angel came. So he, it was the healing that guided his next step. Joseph, do you remember Joseph? Found out that the wife to be is like you now. The, a girl you've, you've, you've not touched her and suddenly she's pregnant. How will you react? Some of us, maybe you've worked hard in a complaint. You are due for promotion. They promote others. Nothing for you. You say, you know what? I'm leaving this complaint. I'm not doing it again. You don't know you are leaving the blessing. He said, be slow to lot. There is something you will miss if you are too quick. Joseph was a man that passed this. He said, no. He was, he was quiet. Then the, the hearing came by an angel that that which made his conceive is of the Holy Ghost. If he, if he has not allowed patience, he will have threw away Mary with the blessing which is Jesus. Today, you will not call Joseph the father of Jesus. Do you know many people, that was how they kicked Jesus away or the blessing in their life. This is a blessing that you've never... The Jesus that came into Joseph's life is a blessing that he, nobody has ever encountered. That's the kind of blessing coming for you if you will be patient. That's the message I came with. How many of you are getting what I'm teaching? I pray the Lord will give you a healing ear. There's a healing ear you need. Let no man say he's tempted of God. He's every good and perfect. All of this agenda, there is a good and perfect. It's coming. It's reserved for you. Can I say something? Where you are right now, you know, the, the, why I'm teaching this thing? Even me, I used to behave like that. I know what God has told me about the ministry. But I know where I'm walking now. I even know where I'm staying now. Compare what God has told me about the ministry and where I am now. I should despise where I am now. I say, I know what God told me. God told me it's global. God told me it's nation. Abraham in Genesis 13, it was in another place that God said, from where you are standing now, look at the land. Some of us, where you are now, is actually God positioning you to see your promised land well. Let me say it again. Where you are now, is where God wants you to be. He said, I know what God told me. This is not, I know what God, you don't know, you, I, I, I you don't understand. My destiny is bright. You don't, you don't understand though. I know, these people are using me. No, 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 no. Where you are now, is where God wants you to be. It was God that took them to the wilderness. It's God that took them out of the wilderness. God showed Joseph, we are kings, we are bowing. We see people, we are bowing. Wonderful. But we, you can agree with me that if it's not for prison, there will be no palace. So because God did not show you a prison and you find yourself in the prison, you say, no, 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 I know what God told me. It's, it's, it's palace, it's palace. You will, you will reject the prison, not knowing that the only way to the prison is, the only way to the palace is the prison. That's the message. He said, be slow, be slow to a lot. Be careful, you're always speaking offense. People are always offending you. One of these days, you will reject your blessing by yourself. Be slow to a lot. That's the message. Oh, be slow to Lord. If you have me, shout hallelujah. Can I tell you something? What you are passing through, there's a unique way God is digging. That nations will soon come and draw. But some of you, because of the pain that comes with that digging, you are saying don't dig again. You've not seen the, the water that we got forth. From that well, you know we are we are celebrating successful people. You've not heard their stories. You've not heard what they went through. People only celebrate the finished product. They don't want to care the process. No wonder Paul says, "Let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of Christ." When you read the Bible, you see the exploit of Paul. No, read again and see the marks. It 
it was those bats that produced those exploits. Some of us, why you are going through what you are going through now, is even because of your so, that destiny that is glorious. That's the way the great men are forged through furnace of affliction. Are you with me? A man shared a story how he went to see how a potter makes his pottery. He says they, they will put it in a well, in a, like a wheel. And as the man walks with the, the, the clay, are you with me? He, he uses his leg to control the wheel. Then he uses his hand to shape the sculpture. The moment he senses like a love surface, he will stop it, remove the whole thing, pieces it there, start afresh. He said he can go through that process until he, 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 how will I put it now? The, he, hey, that's a word I'm looking for. Until he achieves a soft surface. Some of us, what God has been doing this year is, is he's molding and he's crushing you. The moment he sense impurity, he crushes you. He's saying, I can still see bitterness. He drops you again. You are saying, hey, hey, hey. He brings you back. There's something he's trying to achieve. There's a, there's a beauty that is supposed to come out of your life. After that process, they will put the clay on fire. They now ask the potter, how will you know when this thing is ready? He said, of course I know. How? He said, it will produce a song. Do you know that what you are passing through now, there is a song you are supposed to sing in future only you can sing. God wants to produce a song from that wilderness. God wants to produce a message from that wilderness. But guess what Joseph told them? Search for a man who can do this. In other words, only a man who has been where I've been to can do what I'm... This, this world is for me. Oh, there is a mark you must bear to deserve that too. Great men are more of what they lost than what they have. There is no success story without pain, without betrayal, without rejection, without denial. Oh, it's part of the story. I know you are waiting for the day they will clap for you. What God is doing right now, he's breaking you, he's remolding you, he's breaking you, he's remolding you. Guess the end result. There was a song you will sing. They said when the potter taps on the stuff, he starts making it. So I said, that is it. It's ready now. There was a song your life will produce. When you hold this mic, the day you will begin to share your story, people will know that this is not from Harvard. This is from the school of the spirit. How do you want to teach people warfare when you've not been a warrior? You want to come and teach warfare? We'll do it next month. You want to teach what you read in a book? Do you even know how a demon looks like? Have you been molested before? Have demons placed your neck before? How do you know when they come and you want to teach another person warfare? When God allows those things to come, maybe you are in a school of the spirit. The reason why you know it's a school is because that thing has not killed you. If the demon will kill you, you will have died since. They place your neck, place your neck, they just G, 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 then the thing left. If the thing was supposed to kill you, you will be died. You will be dead before now. God is teaching you how to handle it. Evil is not from God, but he allows it to bring out something in you. I heard something about, I've forgotten that animal. When the egg is clacking, if you help that thing, the thing will die. The stuff must clack by itself. That's the only way you can fly. If you help it because it's clacking out of the shell, you kill the stuff. He needs to clack the egg by himself so that he can be able to suck. Some of us are hoping for who will help us uh, go through the process. There is a sound you will make. What about how they make gold? Proverbs chapter 17 verse 3. I'm rounding up. Oh, Proverbs 17 verse 13. Proverbs 17 13. Oh man, no, 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 no. Verse 3, verse 3, 17 verse 3. I made a mistake. Yes, let's read together. The finding pot is for silver. The furnace is for gold. But the Lord do what? He's likening how God makes a man to furnace. For men, they put those things on fire. For God, is the one that puts you in the fire. The, the finding pot, this is fire. It's for silver. That fire is meant to burn up the impurities in the silver. The furnace is for gold. As you admire a gold, that gold is coming from a fire, from furnace. The next time you admire a great man, he went through the fire of God. God is the one that tried him. They won't desire you like this until you allow God to put you through that fire. I, 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 I read a story about how gold smith, how they make gold. They put it on fire. 
it will be on fire. How, do, how will you know that it is ready? It says, until you can see yourself through that gold. In other words, what God is doing is until he can look at you and see himself in you. Oh, that's, that's, that's the school you are in. He wants to see himself in you. He wants to look at you and say, yes, I've achieved it. Where there is no bitterness again. Where the only thing we can see is the fruit of the Spirit. Love, gentleness, meekness, kindness. Now you are ready for the throne. If it was the Joseph that left home, that the brother met in the throne, Joseph would kill all of them. So the prison and the process has taken away bitterness. So when they come, he said, no, you meant it for bad, but God meant it for good. At that level, the wilderness has touched even his motives that have been dealt with. If it was the de- Joseph that left home, that he, met, he would kill all of them. Yes. At that point, you don't care because God is working on you. He's giving you a large heart so that you can be able to stay on the throne and help everybody. People that left you where you are starting, you will forgive them. Because it doesn't matter. If they have not gone, new people will not come. Oh, yes. Patience. Let patience have its full work in you. Are you yelling me? Let's take this song, then we'll pray. No eyes have seen, no ears have heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ is formed in me. No eyes have seen, no ears have heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ be formed in me. No eyes have seen, no ears have heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ is formed in me. One of the nights I was asking, God, what are you doing to me? Believe me, it has not been easy. I wish I can tell you it's easy, it's not easy. There are days you will cry. It's not a sign of weakness. You, you just don't, you cannot even quit the journey. So you just cry and continue. And I stumbled on this song. It was a message to me. That no eyes have seen, no ears have heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your walk in me till Christ is formed in me. Your wisdom is formed in me. Your glory resting in me. Your power revealed in me. Eyes have seen, ears have heard, but God has prepared for me. So I submit. The reason why you can go on that dry fasting is when you realize that there is something is working, there is a world is digging, so you will not abort it. The reason why you can take that shame, the reason why you can take the insult, is when you realize it is working for my good. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. There is a blessing for me. Oh, there is a blessing for you. There is a blessing for you. It says in Proverbs 11:31. It says, 
say that the righteous receives the reward in this life. So I know that time and season cannot change it. I will receive my inheritance in this world, in this world. Can somebody begin to tell God, I will not quit, I will not quit. I will stay through the process. I will not abort it. I will continue the journey. Are you praying? Are you praying? I will not leave the wilderness. So I saw me to my That the path of the just it shines brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. There is something is doing in you. Some days you will come out as a sign and a wonder. They will say, Welcome to this one, welcome to this one. Is he not the son of the carpenter? Because you will no longer look like your foundation, you will be like a stranger to them. Welcome to this great man. Welcome to this artist. Welcome to this man of God. He doesn't look like it again because you are kept in the back of the mountain where God was working on you. Abdullah is to make you. Oh David, I don't know who I'm talking to. The cave of Abdullah is to make you. It is in the cave that you will build your own team. It is in the cave that you will form your army. They will assist you. You will go to the throne. But do not leave Abdullah. Abdullah is making you. Do not leave Abdullah. Abdullah is building capacity. From your horizon. I want you to lay hand on your head and declare I will come out from this cave as a king. Oh, I will come out from this cave. This prayer might not make sense to many people, but there are people that are in their cave already. These so people have even asked you, what, what is wrong? You, you don't even have the answer. I told you some week ago, someone was asking me, Jesus, where are we? What is I said, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm not confused. I know I'm in a cave and I'm allowed to come out. Lay hand and declare, I will come out from this cave, from Abdullah to the throne. Oh, I will not abort the mission. I will not leave the cave early. I will stay, I will stay, I will stay. I am going through, I'm going through the finance, but the finance is purifying me. So I will not abort the process. I will stay, I will stay until the beauty is revealed. Oh, the beauty is revealed. Lay hand and speak words over your head. Satan, you will not tempt me to leave early. I will not abort the process. God is not done with me yet. There is a glory that is coming on me. And in due season, it will be revealed. Oh yes, it will be revealed. It will be revealed. He said, but you need to follow men. Who through faith and patience obtain the result? You need faith and patience. You need faith and patience. Oh, I know, I know I will not end like this. I know soon enough it will be revealed. The glory will show. And all eyes will see it. He said, give yourself wholly to it. That your profiting will appear to all men. It cannot be hidden. That pregnancy cannot be hidden. Soon it will show. Soon people will know what I've been doing in the secret. They will know I have not been wasting my time. But I will say to Jesus is revealed. Prophesy over your head. You will not come out as I'm a shock. Oh, you will not abort that pregnancy. You will deliver safely. For as soon as Zion travel, he brought forth. 
you will bring forth. But stay and travel. Pray for yourself. There is a temptation to live early. But I will not live early. I will stay to the end. Say that you can't tempt me to live early. I will not. I will not. I will not. I will not. <laughs> I know there is a blessing reserved for me. I will stay through the process. I am closer than I was yesterday. Is almost becoming clear. No eyes have seen. No ears have heard. What God has prepared for me. <laughs> so I submit to your work in me. Till Christ is born in me. No eyes have seen. No ears have heard. What God has prepared for me. So I submit. I submit to your work in me. One more time. No eyes that see. No eyes that see. No ears that 